This is the PU belt material I got. This got 5 mm in diameter. It also have a rough surface, so it will get better friction to the surfaces of the pulleys. I got a 3 meter of this uh, material and I paid about 1.5 euro for it. Uh, so it's quite easy uh, uh, and quite cheap to make belts uh, with this material. You can get it in different diameters. This is 5 mm and I also got some 6 mm material. They are often used for sewing machines and you can also get 8 mm. Uh, I see more people use that for sewing machines as well. And uh, the welding process is like you heat up the ends of uh, this material and then you press it together. And of course you uh, won't have it pressed together like that or bent it uh, like that. Uh, you want it to be exactly end to end like this. And therefore you need some tools to do this and uh, I'll explain what I did here. This is uh, plate of plywood, another piece there, it's 18 millimeters, and I made a groove here that got through and a groove here. And it is for a metal piece uh, like this, it's 100 grams of steel, and uh, I use this for uh, the heating of the ends. I heat that on an electrical hub, and the electrical hub got six positions for heat and I use uh, the number four position for use of this. There is a lot of uh, videos and uh, information on the internet about this and uh, the temperature range for this is from about 250 degrees to 310 degrees Celsius. I also read that you can have boiling of the material above 275 degrees and that's not good for the quality of the welding. So I think good temperature here should be 270 degrees when you start welding. What I got is an instrument and I have that for several years and I think if you are some kind of technician or do it yourself guy you like to have something to measure temperature and this these are co-type thermocouples and I got this instrument I, I just checked uh, you can get it from 17 euro now but you can get such cheap instruments down to 4 euro and uh, so but I like this because it got this protective uh, cover here so it's not so sensitive and you can have uh, this so it can stand and so it's a nice little instrument and, and it can handle two of these thermocouples as well. What I then do is that I stick this thermocouple in, in this hole and then it comes up here. It's bented a little when I put this piece on here. Uh, it will measure the temperature of uh, this uh, steel block. To hold the, uh, the ends I use uh, these two pieces of plywood and I cut some grooves here. One is for a 6 mm belt and one is for a 5 mm belt. So you put in the ends like this and have about 4 mm uh, out from the end there. Uh, it's about half, uh, the depth is about half millimeter less than the diameter. So I put on such a piece of here and, and uh, fasten it like this and the same in the other side. And in this way you can slide uh, along here and get good control of the position of the two ends. You can find quite many YouTube videos about this process. There is very professional videos with professional tools and then you got on the other end for amateurs and do-it-yourself people 
Uh, this is also a do-it-yourself and amateur video I show you here on how to do it. But it's perhaps a bit in the serious sense because I try to keep control of the temperature. Then I'll show how I do it. Okay, now I'm about to be ready and the steel heating element uh, is getting hot. So I will collect it now. And you can, can see the temperature is rising and it is up to about 290 degrees. And when it reaches about 270 degrees, then I'll press the belts ends in. And I go on now. I press in with a force and then I hold it for some time to heat up the ends. And now I remove that steel block here and then I press them together. And then I hold this position for two minutes. There is a timer for the temperature and uh, so it uh, will stop showing. But I think you got it. I think I'll stop the camera now. Now it has been two minutes and then I'll remove the holders here. There you got it. See, that's how it looks like. And it seems fair enough, I think. So now I will cut off these uh, parts here. Okay, that was the welding and I'll try just to check it and uh, it seems okay.